How's it going? How's it going? We're gonna get started in a minute. Of course, we'll start with the jigsaw puzzle. Then move on to the car. Hmm. Lost one of my um, Velcro ties. Which is funny because I, I, oh, it's actually on camera. I, maybe it's slightly off camera. Now it's on camera. There it is. I didn't lose it. I don't know how it got over there, though. I mean, that's weird. Usually it never leaves that other side of the desk. All right, how far is this thing out? Let's see. All right, that's okay. All right, so we'll put the car aside for a second. And we'll start with the puzzle. I'll tell you, it's uh, really calm, this puzzle. <laughs> it's, uh, you know what? I might have to move that camera again. I'm just thinking, what if... So if the next piece of the puzzle is up near the top, then I need to get the top on camera. So I'm gonna try to do that. Um, looks like it's not. And I can't move the puzzle down any further, so I'm gonna have to move the camera back. Or maybe up. Um, I'll move it again when we get to uh, the car, but okay. Oh my goodness, now it's like way too much. Oh, maybe not. It's like a delay on the, there's such a delay <laughs> that I can't adjust this because I'm looking at the monitor at the YouTube and it's like a minute behind. So it's like I'm standing here waiting. Anyway, I think it's like close enough. I'll nudge it a couple times, get it closer, you know, every minute. And I guess eventually it'll be. So if you look at this box, one, two, three, four, we're here. And one, two, three, four, you know, it's basically the left side of the puzzle. So I'm thinking that five goes here. Um, I guess we'll find out. Very soon. Forty-two pieces from five. We're on no less than a 126 streak of getting, putting all the correct pieces down. Um, basically for three nights in a row, every piece went exactly where it was supposed to. All right, will that happen again today? I don't know. Uh, I guess we're gonna find out. got a flat top then it goes up here all right and the other pieces I'll get them all get all the fives going the right direction all standing you know the back of the piece has numbers on it and if you get them going the right direction It'll be easier to, to figure out where in the puzzle they go. And if it's got a flat top, I'm putting it to the top. I'm probably going to do that row first. <laughs> that was unintentional. Where's the... What? Oh, where the heck did it go? The other nights we had, like, a map that would, like, tell us what the puzzle looks like. I'm wondering if I put it in the car bag uh, box. Did I? That would be crazy. Yeah, I did. <laughs> the 
Santa Claus puzzle was in the car box. Um, let's see here. When I look at this, did I pause the screen? Oh, oh, the screen is way behind. That was crazy. I don't know what was going on. All right, so I guess we're back up top here. You can see Santa's shoulder. We're gonna go to his hood, I guess. Uh, not his neighborhood, the hood of his coat. So, I wanna talk about this video I watched yes, today. It was kind of a crazy video. I think it's called Sovereign Citizen Movement. And um, there's a couple of things that make me question this movement, although not necessarily to dispel it, but it just makes it difficult to research. No one really has good source, good web sources for it. But that doesn't necessarily make me exclude it because I don't doubt that people could take stuff down from the web if they really wanted to. I, I mean, I, I've been around since the web started. I know how it's supposed to work with peer-to-peer, -peer, but those are IP addresses, not DNS, you know, which we use these days. And, um, and even when it's IP, I just don't doubt that, you know, something that important could be blocked if you really wanted it to. Uh, all right, I'm going to put the puzzle together, but I'm also going to talk about this thing because I found it interesting. So let me just count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think it's going to be six across and seven down. That's our 42. So we already have the top row here. So one other issue with this Sovereign Citizens is um, they don't delete it from YouTube and in fact, they don't even put a warning on it like they would for like COVID-19 or flat earth or election, uh, questioning the election. I don't know why I question the election. That's, that's like, to put a warning on that is, is ridiculous. To put a warning on really COVID and flat earth are also ridiculous. If you want to put links on COVID and links on flat earth, I could kind of see that. But a warning makes it seem like, what, YouTube knows the answer? I mean, they don't know any better than anyone else. I mean, why are they the, the people? But in the elections, it's crazy to me because elections are made up of totals that come from not only 50 different states, but all these different counties with inside the state. And then they're going to collect that all together and, and figure out a result. And for like, some social media company to just say, like, you can't talk about this. That's crazy. <laughs> because they're not in every county doing any sort of analysis and, and they're suppressing information. I mean, it's ridiculous. Um, anyway, so do they suppress information on this? So anyway, let's, for whatever reason, they let these citizens go out there. So let me keep working while I'm talking. So one of these pieces goes here because there's only two with a circle on the left. So the, the sovereign groups, they can't give you good information. There, it's always like a lecture, not a document. And I assume because a document could be pulled apart Whereas a lecture, you had to follow up with questions and they could, you know, play rhetorical tricks. But why I'm going to talk about it is, um, is that I had some other thought <laughs> while the guy was talking. While the guy was doing his conspiracy theory, I thought up my own conspiracy theory. So just understand that this guy's video could have been wrong to start with, and then the idea that I'm going to say is something that I just thought up while he was talking. So what he was talking was claiming that every person has some sort of account. And this account has money in it, and it, like, grows over time. 
I was actually picturing the movie Squid Game while he was saying it. But that's not where it ended. My imagination kept going beyond that. Especially when he was saying that that the account could grow. So, and then he was talking about, like, getting pulled over for parking tickets. And he didn't mention fines, but I was thinking, like, if your account can grow, then it could shrink. And I was thinking, is there, like, let's say this was true. I'm not saying it is. Hypothetical it, that it was true, that there's some, like, account with your name on it that has the funds, you know. And you could, like, and it grows could it all, and then it could shrink, how would it shrink, would it be fined, what would those fines be based on, could it be like sins, could it be like, if you do good works, your account compounds, and if you do bad works, someone's assessing them, your account with fines, and based on those fines, you could even potentially end up in jail, like you've drained your account of everything positive, and um, the only way to pay it off is through, I guess, some form of like, I'm going to call it slavery, but it, I guess it would just be jail in our society. But in olden times, it probably would be considered like indentured servitude or something like that. But then the other side would be that you would have to, to gain, and now this is all just in my imagination, I'm not claiming it's true, but you would gain from doing good works like you would but then you would have to also avoid the fines because in order for something to compound it it has to keep growing and if you get hit with fines then it's not going you don't have the principle to grow from so what would be the fines the fines would be the sins um and i was thinking like this could actually work. Like, I mean, this would be, there would be no such authority, but at least it wouldn't require any magic. It would just be like people with spreadsheets, kind of like when you hear about that Chinese social credit system. Like, is that what they're, is that what they're trying to do? Like, are they trying to, no, I don't think you get any money out of that. I think that you just get like, you can't buy tickets to things because, or something like that. It's like, it's like very like a Santa Claus notion, like the naughty list versus the nice list or something like that. I don't know. But I was thinking about it. And then I was thinking about, but there's no, like no one tells you about it. So how do you get a chance to defend yourself? Like someone, what, accuses you of a crime and then your account gets fined, but they're probably the actual criminal, but they just know that the account exists and you don't. It's kind of like a who watches the watchman type of situation, like who would be in charge of this fund and, and how good would their information be? Like, forget about whether you even think that anyone should be allowed to do this. They shouldn't, <laughs> but, but how good would their information be? It wouldn't. It would be exp it would be corrupted, like, immediately and beyond repair. And um, let's just hope that that this system doesn't exist, because I'm sure that it would have failed already. Um, does this go here? I, I feel like I might I might be about to get a piece wrong. Uh, let's give it a shot. Yeah, okay, it fits. It was such a dramatic color change that I was thinking that maybe I was off. But okay, it went in. All right. It like went from tan to purple and gold without any without any purple being on this piece. But anyway, it went. But now we definitely need purple with a mushroom. You know, that little mushroom-shaped piece. All right, so... Is this purple or is this blue? I think this is it. All right, we're still perfect. Even though I'm like spending all my time talking about this stupid conspiracy video that I watched. Um, I'll tell you what's what annoys me most because it's not the first time I've seen something like that in a video is they never provide a link to where this money is probably because it doesn't exist and they can't but like 
even if there's no court to defend what's being your debits and credits, your account, you at least want to see what it is. Like, it should never be. Like, it shouldn't be. There shouldn't... It's like, I feel like this... I don't want to say this, and then, like, <laughs> you'll think less of me, but, like, in a movie... If I was writing a movie script, it would be funny. It's like the person would hear about this list, and the first thing they'd say is, that's horrible, they shouldn't do that, what, who do they think they are? And then the second thing would be like, well, bring up my account, I want to see what I'm rated. Uh, did we just mess up here? Because this piece looks like it's not going in. All right, we screwed up, we lost, and here's the piece. Uh, I distracted myself. All right, so our streak is over. We're now starting a new streak. And this piece probably goes right here. No, it still doesn't fit. I got this piece wrong twice. I don't know why I, I keep thinking it's time to put this piece down. It's obviously not. Probably goes there. All right, so this is red and it's looking for a mushroom and there's a red mushroom, but apparently it's not the one we're looking for. Is it this one? Well, this is shot. I don't even care about the streak anymore because it's gone. Uh, so I'm just going to stick the puzzles in and talk about what I was talking about. Um, though I lost a little bit my train of thought. Um, basically, the theory was that everyone has an account and that it makes money over time. And then I started thinking, does it also lose money? How does it lose money? What's the functions? Um... And then it was like, another part of it was kind of like sinister. And this was built, this is not my thinking, this was built right into the video that I was watching, was that you can lose the money via contracts. Like someone could like ask, say that uh, you sign a contract and then you lose the money. Like you sign a contract for a car or for a house and as a result, you lose, like, real money, which is something that really happens. Um, I mean, you that is what happens. You, like, sign a paper, and then you get a car or a house, but then you got to owe money. But this video was making it si sound like you were going to get the car and house anyway. They just made you, they just tricked you into signing the contract to also give away your money. Like, if you hadn't signed the contract, you still would have got the house and car. Um, and I tell you, it does seem like that some sometimes. Like, there's... Like, we... I don't know. I don't want to insult anyone, but... We often... You know, I won't say we. Let me just say me, so no one else shares my blame. I often look at people and I think, like... Why am I working, like so many hours a day and not getting anywhere and these people that are clearly not super talented are like they've got a nicer car bigger house more free time they're not worried about anything or seemingly maybe they are and not showing it uh and i think like what am i doing wrong and then i think this theory would have worked um maybe there's nothing to do right Maybe you just think that you have to work so hard to get where you are, but maybe it's just, maybe you were just going to get it anyway, and the whole game is like, how hard can they get you to work? Like, you're going to get the stuff anyway, but how hard can they trick you into working for it? I don't know. Maybe not. I guess you would have to be brave to test that theory, because I would feel like, you know, you test that theory, and then you can end up losing your house and car. Like, it's like a scary thing to do. Wow, I feel like I still got a lot of pieces here to add. Obviously, that doesn't go there. This one? Why is that? I feel like that's supposed to fit. Why doesn't it? There's no other... 
these are the only two red pieces with the like mushroom and they don't fit so where's the piece that fits maybe this one i've got the wrong direction no it's the right direction um huh. I'm looking at this picture, this like what it's supposed to look like. And you see his sleeve here, his sleeve here, and then you see his red coat here. It's supposed to be a lot of red here. But I'm not seeing a lot of red pieces. And I see two red pieces, but they've got this blue and white. So that means they go up top there. In fact, maybe they even touch to each other. So, two of these red pieces are gone already. And they're going to go somewhere up here, like behind this collar. Leaving very few red pieces left. And in fact, this one might go there too. Alright, now it's even less. You see, I've got, I've only got like a few red pieces. How am I going to build all this like coat with these pieces? Because these ones don't count. They're going up here. Um... I feel like they want to fit here, but they don't. So maybe they fit there. I, I guess that's where it goes. And if that is where it goes, then I again want to try. <laughs> now, okay, this goes much lower. Because that's, um, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't, maybe it goes right here. No. Um, I'm not sure what that is actually. Huh. Still got some more blue. Does it go right here? No, because we need more purple. Or do we? That does look like it fits. Huh. So and this goes down here somewhere. No, it, it goes right there where I tried to put it twice already. Now it goes in. I don't know why it wasn't fitting in before. So basically, if I'd have got that to go in before, we could have maybe <laughs> not made any mistakes. But we already made and what's done is done. And, and um, we're just going to move on from here. I'm not even counting the streak. The next time I have a perfect day... The streak will be 42. I'm not going to carry over, like, if I get these last 20 correct. It's not important. This piece, these two pieces look orange. Here's another orange-looking piece. Tell me where you see orange here. I see orange over here, but that's not where we're building today. So, are these orange part of his coat? Here's orange. Here's orange. Where's this orange? Where on this picture do you see orange? Because I don't. But maybe it's his coat? But then this is red. How can this be red? Hmm. You know what? I think I have to fold this open a little bit. I think that orange is above his hat. Yeah, that's it. You see that orange above his hat? That's where that goes. All right. I'm not gonna fold this open. It kind of spans the line, so. But you saw how it goes. And seeing that, I now think it goes like here, maybe? Or is it too soon for that? That's not even correct. <laughs> that connection was not even correct. I didn't even have the piece go in the right direction. Wow, that was pathetic. Well, so I'm doing bad. So my theory that I could speak while putting this puzzle together has been proven incorrect. <laughs> I need to concentrate on the puzzle or make a speech. I can't do both. Well, 
of fails tonight. There's another piece that I tried before and it didn't fit. Maybe it's gonna work the second try. No, this is never gonna fit. The piece just doesn't go there. Or there. It goes there, apparently. All right, I think that's Santa's neck. So then this goes above here, right? No, I really tried that, that doesn't work. Hmm. How about this piece? That works, and then this one goes next to that. All right, good. That's it, doesn't go any further. So then where does this orange go? Underneath? Yep, that's a fit. Hmm. All right. Oh my goodness, the reason why I couldn't find this piece is that's in tomorrow's puzzle. This is our low line. One, two, three, wait, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is our last line. We don't have this piece. We're not doing it today. That's why I couldn't find the red. Oh, what an idiot I am. Uh, anyway, so tonight was a fail. Well, that's what fail looks like. Um, now you know. And, uh, you know, we try better tomorrow. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? Hmm. Who really cares? You know, you fail, well, it happens, you know. These things happen. It's just a little puzzle, it's just for fun. If you always got everything perfect, it would take the fun out of it. You know, it's like, I suppose like you would want one perfect season, but you couldn't be perfect every season or it would take the fun out of it. You would just like expect to win. There would be no point to even playing. So that's the bright side of messing up today is uh, succeeding tomorrow will be sweeter. And the mess ups continue. There's another screw up. I'll try here. Well, I just have no idea where this piece goes. Like, where's that piece? What goes there? pieces that it could be. I have a lot of these pieces face in the wrong direction. What do you think? Is this it? Nope. How about over here? There we go. That's where it fits. That's helpful because it makes this look if, like it fits here. It doesn't though doesn't fit anywhere near there. In fact, I didn't even have the piece facing the right direction. Oh, man. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> I'm just putting down garbage pieces all night. I'm just doing horrible tonight. I guess that video screwed me up. Got, got me thinking too many ideas. Got me far out of the puzzle zone. I wonder if you could, like, make a sports team lose that way. Like, give them an interesting movie to watch. And then they'll all be distracted and they'll lose the game. Because the movie, the movie they watched was too interesting. 
this wasn't even a movie. This was just a guy standing in front of like a church group giving a lecture. I feel like a lot of the best YouTube videos I've seen over all of my time on YouTube was people talking to church groups, like small groups of people. Like not not like mega churches, but like someone standing in front of 50 people on folding chairs and talking to them. Uh, that, that's apparently like the secret to, like those guys have to really work hard to get any audience. It, the only problem is I don't know if anything they're saying is true or not. So as fascinating as it is, you don't know if there's any truth to it or not. I always feel like I'm not getting enough backstory, especially with that that sovereign citizen. It, it like sounds so interesting, but they never give you enough information to really, you know, some people will make a comment sometimes when there's like a crime, for example, like some fun disappears, you know, the money disappears, or, you know, something happens, some sort of crime. And a lot of people will make this comment on a discussion forum. They're like, if you're waiting for them to announce it, like, don't wait for them to announce it on CNN. That's never going to happen. That's just like a common, like, phrase that you'll hear people say, like, if you're waiting for it, like, don't hold your breath. If you're waiting to hear it, see it on CNN for confirmation, like, don't hold your breath. Like, basically, not, I, I don't want to single out CNN, but the, the implication in that statement is, like, they've already won, like, whoever they are, the people who stole the money or committed the crime or whatever, like, if you're waiting for CNN to find them for you and expose their crime for you, the criminal is going to win because that's never going to happen. It, like CNN is, again, I don't really mean CNN. Like that's the expression some people use. I guess it's like the most famous news company, but really the point of the expression is like, if you're waiting for the news, Nothing's ever going to happen because the news is only going to report it after you make it happen and then it becomes undeniable. Like if you're thinking that the news is going to do your job for you of holding the, the criminals accountable, like that's not going to happen. If you hold them accountable, you know, they'll re the news will report it afterwards, but they're not going to do the job for you. You can't sit around and wait for the news to catch the bad guy that's just not what they do they're reporters <laughs> they're not um, investigators really I mean sometimes they make you think that they are and that might give you a false you know what's the word um, basically it works to the advantage of the criminals because you think oh I could just sit back and you know CNN will take care of Keeping the criminals honest. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> They're just looking for a story to report. And if the criminals are smart enough to give them something to report, then they're never going to find... They're never. The criminals are never going to be found out because CNN stops investigating as soon as they've filled their quota of news stories for the day. And again, I don't actually mean CNN. I just mean who, whatever news show you watch. Like, their job is to fill a certain number of hours with entertaining-ish uh, news stories. <laughs> their job is not to save the world. They, they don't even know how to do that. That's not going to happen. If you save the world, they'll report it. But they're not going to save the world for you. All right. So, moving on to the... Uh, to the car here. I think this car is just called Technique. So it says Technique. I don't know. I think that's. I don't know if that's a real car or what that is. Anyway, you can see what we've built here. 
it's quite tall at this point. So I guess the car is at least that tall, plus tires. And I don't know which part this is, but I think this is what we were building yesterday. When we stopped, I forgot to put a bookmark in, so we're gonna have to try to just figure it out, I guess. Um, I don't remember that piece. That looks like the seat. So it's for, you know what? I think this is exactly where we were because I remember this picture. Um, all right, so did we deal with 53 yet? And we're starting with 54? Or did we not deal with 53 yet? 53 doesn't even really show, there's no pieces involved in 53. They're just showing like something clipping, clicking to something else. All right. Okay, this piece is there. So we definitely did 49. Okay, so this is where we stopped. Here's how I know. This piece is here, so we did 49. This piece is still in the box, so we didn't get to 50 yet. All right. I think that's the piece from 50. I don't see any other piece that looks like this. It has like ridges on it and two posts at the end. All right, and then we need two khaki, short khaki dowels. So there you go. Uh, all right. So just stick them in there. That's what we gotta do. The top. Okay, that's, that's 50. Moving on to 51, we need four short red dowels, four of these twos, half size and four regular twos. And those are gonna create two, no. Is it gonna create two? Yeah, yeah. We gotta build something twice, and the something to build involves two of each piece, and then we gotta build it twice. So that's why we need four of each piece. And I said dowels, but it's not true. They're the length of the short dowels, but I believe they want the ones that look like a plus sign. If you look at them on the end, so four of those, oh, what is that? That's not the right piece. All right, and then four twos. Anything fancy about those twos? It looks like half of it, the half size ones are plus, plus sign on both sides. The full size one is a cylinder on one side and a plus sign on the other. Is that what this is? I think that's what this is, but you see that curve at the bottom and then the dots on top? That doesn't seem to match this. So this is a good reference, but I don't think that's the piece we're looking for. All right, how about this piece? Just sort three of them right together, yeah. Circle on one side, plus side on the other. We need four of those. Somehow I found three of them like right next to each other. Of all the times this box has been shuffled, they were just sitting there next to each other. Now we need twos, uh, wait, twos, right? Yeah, the plus sign on both sides, half size. I think that's it, right? So we need three, that's the piece. It's half the height of this one. It's got a plus sign on both sides. And we need four of those. Okay, we got four of the full size one. Now we just need three more of the half size and we're ready to go. Two. It doesn't help that these pieces are black and the box is black. It just makes it like, you know, black on black. It's like, I can't get any reflection. You know, not there's a little bit of shine on the pieces because they're plastic, kind of makes them kind of glossy. And that shine is what you see, but you don't really see, for example, this orange piece and this gray piece and even this green piece are like very easy to see. 
but the black pieces in the black box, they take more effort. You gotta like reach in there and flip them around to even like get an idea of what you're looking at. All right, I finally got it. All right, so now I got four of each. All right, let's put this together. Uh, okay, so the red goes through two of these, uh, these pieces, the half size ones. Two reds through there, if I can get them in. All right, now once that's through, flush at one end, sticking out the other end, then you take the full size ones using the plus, remember it's a plus on one side and a cylinder on the other, so you put the pluses on the inside so that the cylinders stick out, and then you end up with this little piece there, almost like a triangle. All right, two of those. Let's build that again. I got, um, I don't know how, if these surveys go to everyone or they're targeted, but I got a survey from YouTube today. And one of the questions I thought was really funny it was that if your account was monetized, would you keep uploading videos? And I'm thinking like, is that a problem that they have? Have they been like monetizing people's accounts and then they stop uploading? I suppose it could happen. For example, like someone like Sai, he was like the first guy to get a billion views on a video. Like he might just have thought like, well, this video has got a billion views. I could like take a year off, you know? <laughs> And I have thought about that is um, the whole idea of like using money to control humans. It like really only works if the humans are going to keep coming back for more and more money. Like if they're going to be like, oh, great, uh, I wanted a million dollars and now I got a million dollars. That doesn't work. Now you got to like train someone else because because they, they stopped working as soon as they hit their goal. Like. It seems like one of the credentials for giving someone a job is not only do they want money, but after they get it, will they spend it and upgrade their lifestyle and work harder to get the next amount of money? Because if they're just like, well, I'm going to work here for three years and make my money and, and then I'm done. Like that's not as attractive because now you got you need like a new person in the pipeline every three years. They want the same person. I mean, it sounds like wrong, but you gotta look at it from the, you know, the perspective of the person with the money, like it's a better deal, like to keep paying you than to keep, than to like train new people all the time. Um, so what does that mean? <laughs> it's weird, right? It's like money sounds good until it's like, no longer, until it seems to no longer benefit you. For example, um, I guess Michael Jordan played basketball to win, right? Like, but if someone else played basketball just to become a millionaire, they might think, well, yeah, I, I did my rookie contract. I made like 25 million. I'm going to retire now. I don't think it's a bad thing. Let someone else play in the NBA. I mean, you don't need to, I guess owners think it's a bad thing. They want the fans to, to recognize the players, not have the players change every three years. But I'm thinking it's not a bad thing. I mean, why should a person have to be a lifetime basketball player? I mean, you know, give someone else a chance. You play for three, five years, then let someone else play. In the NFL, the average career, I think, is only like three or four years. Um... And it's not that much longer in baseball, um, even though you would think it would be because there's a lot of guys that play into like they're 40, but that's not true of everyone. They actually do play longer in basketball. That's like they get paid the most per game and they stick around the most seasons. So if you are six foot eight, maybe look into basketball. That's probably going to work out for you.
Okay. So, two of this weird piece, two of these that almost look like nails, and then two of these things that look like bolts. So I guess the bolts are gonna go on the nails, but why do we need two of these things for it to go through? You would think we only needed one because it has two like holes in it. Ah, okay, because it's gonna go on two ends of this piece. How does it go on there? All right, first things first. They want us to put it through one side of this. Are the two sides the same? I, as far as I can tell, this thing is the same bilateral symmetry, both horizontal and vertical. There's basically one quadrant that repeats every 90 degrees. So that was all just a point of saying you could put it in either hole from either direction. All right, so there you go. Um, do I push it all the way in? It doesn't show what it looks like after it's pushed in. And by the way, um, was I wrong? Because they're showing this picture twice, which would indicate that you can't do any direction, any hole. Or maybe that's just in orientation to how it connects to the next piece. So let me line it right up, looking the same as theirs. All right, so I got one going that way, and I got the other. It's going to go that way, but... Okay, I see. I see what's different. You can put it in any hole. That's true. Until, right, like when you're holding it in your hand, you can do it anyway. But when you put it connected to this, they both have to be on, let's call it the south side. So if you put these two pieces like back to back, the posts go like in one line. Am I even on camera here? Uh, sorry if I wasn't. So anyway, if you put them back to back, the posts are in line. And now they connect on the other side. So the part that's not having the nail through it goes into this. And in both cases, the nail is at the, I'm going to call it the south end. All right. Um... I did it wrong. <laughs> I'll tell you what I did wrong. I put it through the right hole, but from the wrong direction. Uh, so this is where it gets tricky. I want to put it through. Yeah, that makes sense. Because when you put it through the top, then it ends up being the same height. Well, the body of it is the same height anyway. The leg is the same height. Let's put it that way. When you put it on the table, it's got all the all the pieces make contact with the table, including the one you just connected. All right, we're not there yet. I'm just trying to make it look exactly like the picture. That which it seems easy until you do it. Did you get it on the first try? It took me three tries. Uh, all right, I think it's finally correct. You know what though? It's not how many tries it takes. It's that you get it right before you move on to the next panel because if you don't, you're gonna end up having to backtrack at some point, and the further you go until you backtrack, the more work you're gonna have to do double. All right, now we're finally up to 53. All right, so on 53, we're gonna attach this piece that we were just making to the smaller of the other two pieces. Now, how's this gonna attach? It's gonna attach with these guys folded back and hooking outside we left two holes open on the outside and that's exactly where they're going in. And when they go in, uh, no, 
There's no other connections. I was thinking there might be other connections, but I don't see them yet. Though there's a con there's a horizontal opening here. No, there's not there. Hmm. Maybe this is where the wheels connect. Maybe this is the front wheels and these are the back wheels. I don't know. Let's see. Now we gotta look at this picture. This picture is showing a cross section of the gearbox, but I'm not sure what they're trying to tell us about it. Let me pick it up and study it before we go any further. Okay. I don't know if you can see that there. They're showing the gear. Uh, there's some red pieces. Sorry, where are these red pieces? Okay, there is a gear. There is a red piece. All right, I'm looking at it. I see the teeth. Um, is this just a QC? Are they just telling me, make sure everything's lined up? Uh, if so, then I reply, yes, everything's lined up. Maybe they want me to turn it, see if it turns. Ah, yes. That new, that new piece that we just installed, if I spin this, do you see that? It's moving. The gear is grabbing it. This new piece had like teeth at the bottom, and where we put it is on top of the gear. So if we spin the axle, turns the gear, slides those teeth along. All right, so I think we passed the QC there. All right, what's next? Oh, by the way, that video that I was talking about before that I saw where the guy was talking about the law, he was quoting the book of Genesis, which, um, you know, that's an interesting thing that he was quoting the book of Genesis. The guy said he was raised Mormon, so I guess they read the book of Genesis. I'm a Christian, specifically Catholic. And reread the book of Genesis. I believe it's also, I mean, it must be part of the, the Jewish text because, I mean, it's, that's what the Old Testament is. And then I don't know if Muslims read Genesis too. Anyway, he was claiming like that this all flows from Genesis. And what's interesting about that is, it's actually it may not be that interesting to you, but one of the projects I'm doing when I got into YouTube Shorts, just to sort of, I like to do projects that are like um, daily, just to keep, just so I don't forget that I'm looking. Otherwise, I might work on something one day and then forget it the next. So I just was like reading, you know, a couple of verses from Genesis each day into a YouTube Short. So this guy who was giving this lecture, he was quoting the laws as coming from Genesis. So that's probably why I got fed that video because it only had like 3,000 views. All right, so we got two offset black dowels and one black uh, T-square and then one black, I'm gonna call it a camera piece. It's this piece where it's three circles and then one going like it's twisted 90 degrees. We actually need two of those. So two asymmetric black dowels, two camera pieces, and one T piece. All right, so that, so that guy's lecture was drawing from Book of Genesis. That's probably why I got it. And then I got an ad for a, a Genesis car. It was like an SUV. I looked into it. Apparently, it's actually from Hyundai. Um... And it was expensive, by the way. So, I don't know if either of these Genesis threads is worth following up on. This guy's law interpretations seemed a little sketchy. He was claiming that he'd given lecture to, like, law school graduates and at The Hague. But I didn't know if he was just saying that to make people believe him. You know, because sometimes people will be like, oh, when I was at Harvard... And, like, they audited two classes one semester in Harvard. And they'll say, like, when I was at Harvard. So this guy could be, like, 
when I was given a lecture in The Hague, you know, he might have been rambling. He might have stood up and talked out loud on the subway in The Hague for like two minutes. Just because he says he was giving a lecture at The Hague doesn't mean that anyone was listening to him. Uh, and just because he gave a lecture to law school students, it might have been one of these other, you know, small conference room lectures that he gave and a couple of law school grads were there. Like, you know, you got to think about what people say and, and what does it really mean. Like, for example, a big phrase from two years ago, when COVID was going on and the shot first came out, people would say, it's safe and effective. I mean, those words are being offered without the full context. I mean, what is it effective at? Effective doesn't really mean anything. Anything is effective. I mean, you stick your, I'm not saying do this, but <laughs> you stick something in the wall, you know, outlet, and it will be effective at conducting electricity. Now, if you stick in the plug from a lamp, it's going to light the light bulb. But if, God forbid, someone sticks a fork in there, they're going to light themselves up. It could be, I don't know, maybe it's deadly. I don't know exactly how bad that is. I never tried and I don't plan to. Um, so when someone says it's effective, that doesn't really mean anything. And when someone says it's safe, well, that's, you know, safe is kind of a relative term. It's uh, the noun is missing from the sentence. I mean, is there's the giver and the receiver. Like, who is safe? What is effective? Like, it's safe for who? It's effective at what? I mean, you can't just use that phrase, you know, without putting it in the full context. So, these people do this in their lectures and in their marketing. So, that's why I feel like I actually like the format of this show, because I'm just putting a puzzle together and saying whatever pops into my head. Like, I don't care if there's viewers or not i don't care if i'm getting like paid or not i don't care if anyone believes me or not so i feel like i'm not motivated to use these rhetorical and superlatives and trying to convince people of anything you know and if i'm wrong about anything i say well then i'm just wrong and, you know who cares i didn't claim i was right so that's kind of my feeling and i think that's the way most people sort of learned about life. Uh, if you think about it, it used to be people would hang out in someone's basement or shooting pool or at the bar and a bunch of people would just talk and they would talk the same topic on different nights and different people would have different opinions. And over time, you sort of decided what you thought about the issue. But uh, it wasn't like someone's going to decide who's allowed to speak on this issue and they're going to stick with some point and everyone's going to be on the same page and then they're going to change their mind and they're all going to in lockstep change their mind and only those people are allowed to post. I mean, that's a recipe for disaster. It should be like people just t talk, whatever they think, whether they're right, whether they're wrong, they just keep talking and over time you get somewhere. Um... Um, I know I haven't put a piece down in a while. I'm trying to study section 54. It's tricky. I think I got it, though. I think this piece goes on these first two pieces like this. And then I just do the same thing on the other side. I know it looks like nothing, though. I finally got it in there. But it was kind of hard to see, both on the instructions and in reality. And I'm still not sure I got it right. And now, once you put those two in then the T attaches to the middle pipes coming from the same direction as this yellow piece. Let's see if that works. That works. All right. So took a while, but 54 is done. Now, we need some weird looking piece. Is this it? Let's, let's try to, I don't think that's it. Because if you look at this piece, is that it? I can't tell. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's say that this is it. I'm not really sure, but let's say that's it. So this piece kind of looks like a chair, but it's not. And then one of these pieces that's like a dowel attached to a cylinder with a plus in the middle. So here's a dowel. 
attached to a cylinder with a plus in the middle. How about that? <laughs> we just reached in the box and grabbed exactly the piece we need. Now, let's take it, hold it by the long end, and put the dowel through the short end from the right side as the short end sticking up. That's, that's what they say to do. Now, of course, this can twist. So, but maybe that's what it's supposed to do. Maybe it's gonna like open and close. All right, let's see where this gets installed. Um, it gets installed on the other side of the T, which makes me feel like, that, remember we put the T back here and now there's two up here? So it gets attached to one of those two. Why only one and not the other? I cannot yet tell you, but that's that's what it is. And you gotta twist the piece. I mean, if you wanna match the picture, I, I had to twist the piece. So now I got it perpendicular to the, uh, I got the plus sign perpendicular to the, the cylinder that holds the dowel. And from here, I slide it onto the other end of the dowel that's holding the T in place. If I can get it there, it's a plus sign. So that's never gonna work. I got this piece in the wrong way. Yeah, I gotta flip it around because the plus sign needs to be here to, to fit in there. Could I just pop this whole piece out? Yeah, that's the easiest way to do it. I'm gonna pop the whole dowel out and shove it in from the other direction so that the plus sign is on the side I need it to accept that piece. All right, done. Put the T back on. So the T goes on the two dowels, dowel sides on this side. Get the T. Now, finally, we could line up the plus. It's very tricky, it's very tight in there. But uh, there we go, we got it. Okay. Now, does this piece turn now that it's on? It does. What is this piece? Anyone got a guess? I'm not really even sure what I'm what I what we built here. I'm just looking at the box to see if I can get some clue and I can't. By the way, we're at 63 minutes and I have to get up early. My son has a track meet. We gotta leave at 7:30 in the morning, so I'm gonna sign off for now. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll have more time. I'll do at least two hours tomorrow. Good night.